What is up people, Skywalker Hendrix here with another video for you guys today. And I am looking at another Star Wars The Black Series figure, K2SO from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. My first Rogue One uh, figure, but I'm just going to use this as a, you know, generic uh, Imperial security droid, I want to call it. So, uh, but I don't know, just looking at this right away, I like how it kind of like looks powered down like in the packaging that, I don't know, just like kind of looks interesting to me. But, uh, let's take a look at the packaging. But first, I wanted to give a little shout out to Out of the Basement. Um, if, if you guys don't know, uh, I went on their live stream yesterday. Thank you to them for letting me come join the live stream. Had a blast as usual. Uh, but go give them a subscription if you haven't already. And check out that live stream. It, it should be uh, on their channel. Just in their videos. So go check that out. It's a good one. A lot of, a lot of hot topics in, in that one. So... But yeah, let's take a look at this packaging. So I'm really digging the Rogue One uh, color for the boxes, as uh, all different boxes have different colors. So like A New Hope will have a different color, Revenge of the Sith, um, Return of the Jedi, you know, <clears throat> all of them will, uh, or do, not all of them right now, but they all will eventually have their own color. This is kind of like a teal color. I really, really like this color for Rogue One. Uh, just really cool. Number three in the Rogue One subwave. Uh, that's what I call it because it just, it's the cat, they go by categories of the movie. So we get a bio right here. If you want to pause and read that, you can. The artwork again right there, legal stuff legal stuff barcode we get the color coming over here uh black series i got this from gamestop and yes the bottom corner is a little rough but you know i'm an opener anyway so like i'm not too i'm not really upset at all actually so um but yeah let's get this bad boy out of the package all right and here he is out of the packaging looking really nice i'm loving how this figure looks how it feels uh it just feels really good in hand so that is always always nice it does not come with any accessories but uh i feel like he's he's a bigger uh character uh he's a little taller um and you don't really see him use anything except maybe a gun in Rogue One. So, may, they could have thrown in the gun. But, you know, I'm not, like, super upset about it. Just another really cool droid for the shelf. Uh, I'm just happy to to have this figure. And I'm loving the little scrape details on it. Everything just looks really really good in my opinion so let's go over some articulation in this bad boy he can look down pretty nicely and like i said in the package he was kind of like this and it kind of gives him like a powered down look almost um if you even if you maybe got it in second one and painted the eyes uh, just black. I want to see that eye detail. I feel like, yeah, it's just white in there. I don't know if it's supposed to just be white, but I don't know. Uh, first time with this figure, so. But he can look up not all that much. You can, like, move his head separately, too, from, like, the neck joint, which is nice. So, and all the detail, I mean, is just really nice on this figure. Um, so the arms do go up about mm, 
45 degrees, I, I want to say. Uh, not quite 90. About halfway there. Well, a little more than half. So, uh, I don't know. Decent, though. Not, not bad. You can obviously twirl them all around if you want to as well. Uh, there is a swivel right there. And the arms do go up about 90, a little bit past 90, and they can go back to about the same, a little past 90. So that is very cool as well. We do get uh, another swivel right here and a back and forth hinge for the hands. Very cool how they did that and uh, back and forth on this one as well. Now these legs... Let's see. The legs do go out about that far. Nothing crazy. They can probably... Yeah, you could twist those all the way around if you really wanted to. So, decent. Not Nothing crazy. They can, you know... They can go all the way up there if you really, you know... If you really wanted to. So, that is cool for some people who... You know, maybe do some crazy poses with this guy. His knees do go up a little past 90. And they go forward a little past 90 as well. You could have this guy, like, <clears throat> like crawling like a spider almost. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting crazy. Oh, uh, there's swivel right there as well. Very cool. And the feet do go back all the way. And forward basically all the way. And no rocker, unfortunately. I kind of was expecting that. Not a big deal in my opinion. Because like, just looking at the figure, I was like, yeah, probably not going to have like any rocker or anything like that in there. Nothing crazy. Like I wasn't expecting up and down hinges on the hands either. Like pretty simple, like robotic articulation. I did forget the ab movement in here it's kind of it's pretty tight on this guy but you can do like it's got like the hula hoop rotation uh this one's just pretty tight so don't want to uh, stress it or anything like that but yeah overall i really i just really like this the look of this figure i mean it looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion and the weathering, just all the little detail, like the little uh, yellow or orange, whatever you want to call it, right there, the little blue and the white, just the detail uh, splashed out throughout the figure is really nice. The Imperial logo, all that, uh, even the back. I mean, some of the figures recently by Hasbro have not, just not been painting the black the back at all like at all which at f sometimes it's like okay like I don't care really because like I'm not gonna be looking at the back but so, like it is nice when it's like okay they they like put effort into this and painted even the back where you're not gonna be looking so you know it it is what it is but I don't know. It's just disappointing sometimes when you look at your figure and the back is just plain. But, you know, I don't know. I don't really look at any of my figures from the back anyway. But for pictures and stuff like that, yeah. It, it, it It's a bummer when the back is not painted. But this figure, for me, gets... It's a pretty awesome figure. It gets a 9 out of 10. Uh, I think this is a solid figure. Uh, if you're just a Black Series fan or just a fan of figures in general, definitely worth a pickup, in my opinion. Um, you can basically throw them anywhere on your shelf, you know. Obviously, Jedi Fallen Order, Rogue One. I'd even fudge them into, like, a Mando display or a, a o OT display. It could work. Like, he he's an Imperial droid, so... He could really go where anywhere the Imperials are on your shelf. So, that said, I think he's definitely worth a pickup. I got this guy at GameStop. You could probably go to your GameStop and find one. I know they've been 
hitting game stops so uh yeah definitely worth a pickup nine out of ten so if you like today's video leave a like and subscribe if you're new if you didn't like the video uh just let me know something i could do better but uh that's my review for today and i'll see y'all in the next one